Subscriber areas are now live at foottrading.co.uk. Tier 1 and Tier 2 have both gone live. And don't forget this year we've got our season pass. Incredible value. It basically works out about four or five months for free depending on the tier that you're in. Uh, we've got more site areas being added every single day. We've got icons on there now. We've got golds. We've got shadows, anchors, uh, hunters. We've got silvers going on very soon. We've got position change trading going on very soon. So make sure you check the website out. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. We're on the road to 40,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed this year. It's been amazing so far. Apologies for any sort of lack of content recently, but I've been getting over a bout of pneumonia. So I'm still getting there, but we're better than we were anyway. Um, and don't forget, make sure you check out Foot Trading. I guarantee you, if you use the website, you will make millions of coins. We've got people that are paying £10 a month for Tier 1 that are selling their coins for hundreds of pounds a month. So really, really easy. But we're going to talk about an area of the website that we use, how you guys can try and do it yourself if you can't afford the website or don't want to pay for it, which is fine. Um, or if you're on the website, how you work with the fluctuations area and how you trade with fluctuations. So what do we mean by fluctuations? Essentially, cards have a natural climb, drop, climb, drop, climb, drop in their price based upon different things happening at different times. I'm going to talk about a few ways in which they are affected and I'm going to show you a few cards that I bought last night and show you the, uh, the graphs, I guess, on um, Footwiz so you can get a rough idea of what I'm doing and how you guys do it too. So the first thing I want to talk about is the natural fluctuations of a card, all right? And so think about the transfer market as a living, breathing organism. And at certain points in the, in the game, the cards have more sort of demand, the cards have more supply. So at 6pm every day, everyone gets on the game to check content. Obviously at the moment it's 5pm UK, but everyone gets on the game to check content. And what happens is, is people see stuff and go, right, I'm going to sell that card, I'm going to sell that card, I'm going to sell that card because I'm going to go and buy that card or do this SPC or whatever it is, okay? And so you can see here we've got two Laquars at 71,500 and two, well, three London Donovans that we sold at 59, 60, 61, all right? Um, if we head over to desktop and we have a little look at Footwiz, we'll start at Laquar. As you can see, Laquar is now 71,000 coins. Down here on the Footwiz graphs, you're able to see the daily graph of what he's been doing. You're also able to see the hourly graph and you can see spikes up to 70 drops spikes climbs to 70 and then yesterday at 6 p.m there was a big fat drop in la croix no reason for it dropped from 73 all the way down to 65 um and the thing about this is there's no real reason for it if you looked at the content yesterday we didn't really see anything that caused that drop it was just people getting on and listing their cards now the ones i bought i think i did on stream yesterday at 63k just for this video to show you guys and you can see that after that happened he bounced back he bounced back pretty quickly so if you're picking them up, you would have made very good profit by buying them. This is what we call natural fluctuations. This is just fluctuations for supply and demand. More people on the game at 6pm listing cards. People undercut, undercut, undercut. You end up getting low buys. What happens then? People come off the game. Cards start getting bought up for the teams again. And there's less supply coming on because people aren't on the games. So the price of these cards rises in value. And it works with every card on this game. Best cards to work with are special cards, icons, stuff like that. Look at Landon Donovan again. His drop doesn't seem as big, but it's important you note something in a second. Landon Donovan back at 61k. We look at his hourly. Yesterday says here when he was at 6 p.m. that actually he got down to like 59. He didn't. He got down lower than that um, to pick him up for. And sometimes you can't really tell. But what this will give you is a good idea that if you see this card at 53, 54, usually a decent sign to buy in if you want to make a few sales overnight. What this does, though, is it gives you an average price, just an average. And so when a price might be 61k on average, you might be able to sell at 63, 64, because at that moment in time, there was more in the market. When it says 58, you might be able to buy at 54, 55 with snipes and undercuts. And that's why it's vitally important that you check that out and you keep an eye on it, because it can do really, really well when it comes down to making coins. So fluctuations are dealt with like that. On the website, we have an area that directly tells you what cards are up, what cards are down, and we track the market 365 days of the year. So here we've got icons as well. Icons do the exact same thing and are probably some of the safer buyers on this game. These Yashins yesterday, we cleared them out at 190 and sold them for 210. This Keen was a 160 buy, we sold at 190, which was really, really nice. Gattuso was 140 buy, bought a sold at 160. Wright was 82, I think it was, sold at 97. And again, when it comes down to icons, if you want to get a rough idea of what, what's a good buy, let's say we look at Yashin. If we go back to desktop, we'll have a little look and we'll change it to Yashin now. 
And let's say you've got a filter up, which I'll, you can get any filter you really want to use, but we'll have a look. See, he's back down at 198 again now. What you can do is two things. You can look at sold prices, and it'll give you a rough idea of what you've been selling for. And you've seen this morning, 193s, 194s, 192s. They're easy to pick up, but you can also see my three there. 210, 211, 212. Every single one that I sold, they're in a row been bought up at the same time by people buying them up, basically. And 210, 211, 212. There was a 208, there was a 219. Uh, 219 again. It just comes down to how many are in the market. And icons are great because the supply is lower. But I digress. They're the cards that I bought. Other things that cause fluctuations um, can be any content that we re released onto the game. So Gary Medell, for example. If you guys remember, we've got Ar Arnaltovic and Posh as SBCs. If those cards were tradable special cards on the market, there is a chance when this Medell comes out that they see a rise. And they rise because Medell comes out and they can link them. So you see rises in that. When Nedved and Rycard came out, we saw Nedved and Rycard drop in price because everyone that had these cards went and sold them. They were like, okay, cool, let's get rid of them. And again, then you can go and buy them up, wait for the panic to end because it causes panic. Anytime an SBC comes out of a specific player, it can cause panic. Or if it's a casino SBC like a hero pack or an icon pack, that can cause panic too. So whenever those SBCs come out, all your job to do is to look at what there is and see is there anything that can link to them that might cause a rise in the player's price? Is there anything that causes them to drop in price? Maybe a similar card to, to Chiesa, for example, was on the market. You can go, right, actually this Chiesa is a bit risky in terms of the cards that I've got, so I might sell them. Suddenly the price drops. Or you might go, right, they've dropped way too far. Let's say there was another Italian right winger on the game for 50k and he dropped down to 35k in the panic. You could probably buy him pretty safely there because he had a demand at 50k prior to this SBC. Not everyone's going to do this SBC. Card will probably get back to 40, 42, 43 something in that region. The ones that do really, really well, though, are what we call the Casino SBC. So if we have a little look at... Where is it? The 85 Plus Team of the Week upgrade. This yesterday saw some Team of the Weeks drop in price quite significantly. I'll try and find an example if I can. Um, but it saw quite a few of these cards drop in price um, from where they were. If we have a little look at the hourlies. There we go. So if I show you this, this is Leroy Sana, who I packed in my 85 Plus. You can see at 4 p.m., 35. By the time 7 p.m. came back, he was 28K. And look now, back at 34, okay? Content supply, people panicked, bang, Sane dropped, and then he bounced back again. This is the ideal time to buy these cards. If you see an SBC like this, and you see these cards get down low, look at him now. He's not far back, back at 38 again. Not everyone's going to pack Sane from that pack. He can literally be any one of 85 plus team of the weeks. So these sort of things are really, really simplistic and easy to do. You're looking for a, a good drop-off. Like if you look at this, 35 to 28, what's that? 20% drop-off, not a bad way to go, realistically. Really not a bad way to go. 25% um, seems to be the real sweet spot this year if it comes to buying in and knowing you're going to do all right with it. So it's really, really simple in that sense. So finally, I want to show you someone like Ivan Tony Again, up at 26 now. He hasn't really moved masses, um, but we sold ours when he got to his high the other day. We sold ours... At, um, about 28 I think it was he got up to but you can see the average price here 22 we know that's not true we know that's false because we know he's at 26 but again this supply down here on Sunday saw him at 20,000 coins we always know Saturday Sunday tends to be cheapest for most cards and again bang 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 all the way up to 26 by the Monday really simple really easy that's fluctuations in a nutshell if you're new around here make sure you subscribe down below turn on your notifications like the video comment it makes a massive difference Check out Foot Trading if you want to make millions of coins because you will. Uh, but that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.